I'm actually recording this after I did all the rest of the filming. It's going to go first in the video. Before anyone starts becoming a keyboard warrior and telling me I don't know how to punch, or I don't punch very hard, or anything like that, learn first. I am trained in martial arts. I have a black belt in Taekwondo, which really doesn't mean anything, because Taekwondo is like really shitty MMA. I've done pancreation tournaments. I've learned under judo masters, even though I'd never did the belts or anything. I have an uncle who is very heavily into judo, who has taught me a lot of things. And I was a D lineman for six years. I know how to punch and get away with it. That's something most of you don't know how. That's why I'm going to say it first. There is nothing wrong with my punches other than how I had to hold the brass knuckles. There is nothing weak about my punches. I'm denting two by fours. Now that we have that done, let's watch the rest of the video. So if you guys didn't know, I have really big hands. Not big in size, they're just really fat. So my hand, my fingers don't fit in most things. That's where these come in. Uh, about a week ago, a friend of mine bought a pair of brass knuckles and I tried them on and I literally couldn't even get them past like here on my fingers, like second knuckle. And that really bugged me. Not because I want a pair of brass knuckles but because I want to be able to fit my hand into a pair of brass knuckles. So I figured this is going to be a two-fold thing. I'm going to print these. I'm going to clean them up and I'm going to show you how to do some nice cleanup on weird edges. As you can see, there's a couple in here that are none too nice, so it'll be hard to clean them up. It'll be a good tutorial for you guys. And two, I want to see just how strong this plastic can be. So I'm going to put this on my hand and I'm going to punch something really hard, like my desk, maybe a tree. And we're going to see if it breaks. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Well, if it's solid plastic, it's not going to break. Haha. -ha. It's not going to be solid plastic. I'm actually going to do hollow plastic. Don't know how many layers. Uh, I'll discuss it all when I'm about to print. But we're going to see if you can make something that has less material in it that can hold up better to impact. First, on my long line, I'll just kind of show you what I did. Started out with this profile. It's literally just my hand in a fist and then I measured the center of each finger. As you can see the pinky kind of goes out a little bit because I don't even really want my pinky making contact. You really shouldn't in a punch anyway. Then the cut downs which are just enough to make the back of the loops. cut out the, I don't know, gaps. Mirrored the cut on the other side so that it's the same. Handful of fillets. Give me a more basic shape. The reason they're like this is because instead of pressing in on a single point or like a band across all your knuckles, I wanted it to be kind of your whole fist because that's how you're actually taught to punch is to with the flat of your fingers, not your knuckles, not these knuckles. You really shouldn't punch like this. Doesn't do too much. Oop. Misclicked. Then the backer bar. For those of you who don't know, the reason that brass knuckles are so effective is because instead of putting the strain on the front of your fist, it actually cups into the heel of your palm. So that it's more like that. And then the force comes in and presses at the meteor palm. And I have a much meteor palm than others. As you can see, just simple bracing. I didn't want it to be too intricate, considering I'm probably going to break these after the first punch. And then these are to just increase impact. Really the only reason that you would ever have those on brass knuckles is to reduce the amount of space that is making impact it makes a stronger impact or PSI pounds per square inch obviously making them all much smaller and filleted so they look pretty 
would do more damage. It's also going to create more weak points for these to fail, because I actually kind of want to punch through plastic. I think it'll be cool. So, without further ado, I'm going to go print these, and then you will see me when I start cleaning them up. Okay, so what happened before, I did a couple test punches with this set. As you can see, this set was not printed, you know, all the way through. It was just a shell. This is, what, this is about 15% infill, which is just an edge and edge and some bracing on the inside. As you can see, it didn't hold up well. I can even flex it with my hand a bit. Here's the new one. Now, once we get, let's do this. Whenever you do a print, you're going to want to start by peeling off any raft or brim that you use. Then, real quick, next step. As you can see, it starts to separate. Bam! This right here. That'll be enough for now. Look pretty similar from the top, but from the bottom, as you can see, this is the broken one. Hollowed out, solid. So hopefully this one holds up to at least one punch. At least that's what I'm hoping. Other than that, just some normal cleanup. Uh, where's a good knife? literally just run a knife along the inside there are a lot better ways to do this sandpaper works really good but if you just want to do it quick and you don't really care about too many loose ends knife works pretty good as long as you respect it don't cut towards yourself all that fun stuff That's enough for the quick cleanup. Let's go ahead and clean this up properly with some sandpaper and files. If you guys don't mind ignoring the mess, a square file. Where is here we go? Gonna want to file with one flat side, one curved side. Obviously, the curved side for when you're cleaning up the edges on the inside of a ring or any kind of curved surface. Flat side for obviously flat edges. You can use a curved side, but it just works a little bit better. Really doesn't take much with a file just to clean off edges. After all, you just got to kind of get all the sharp bits out. And with this design, you don't have to clean out too much of the bracings, just the finger holes. Then you take your flat side, and you literally just... Every spot you see a high spot, just run it down. I'm not going to go with... Since I'm pretty sure I'm going to destroy it, I'm not going to clean this up too much. Just enough until where it looks right, or feels right, if you would. The reason I like rasps and files so much is they take off a lot of material at once, and as long as 
you don't go hog wild and you stay pretty patient you can get some pretty smooth surfaces as you can see that's a lot smoother than those ridges but those can just be actually there's no real reason for me to do this so I'm not going to fits my fingers nice pinky is well floating because you don't really want to hit with your pinky you want to hit with these two fingers and you actually want to hit with your flats but I misprinted and I don't want to print again so it's going to be right about there you want this this back piece I guess you'd call it to be pretty much in the meat of your palm so either here or here so when you make your fist instead of actually transferring into your knuckles it transfers into your palm alright let's punch a desk so here's a 2x4 actually let me close the laptop first This is a 2x4, mounted to two other 2x4s, just so you're not thinking I'm a pussyfoot it. Here's the old one. As you can see, pretty much crumpled. It wasn't even that hard of a punch. Now, I'm going to try this one. Make sure we're still rolling. All right. Let's try a light one. <laughs> actually put a dent in it. Alright, a little heavier. I can do some damage with these. I really should have made this knuckle a bit bigger, but alright, let's try and break it. Now, I did actually bust out the top of the finger and the bottom of the finger guard, but my hand is pretty much fine. And here, I'll do one more. All right, that one kind of dug in a little bit, blew out the bottom of the finger guard, and started blowing out the top of it. But everything else that's extremely impressive to me I could probably throw two or three more punches and if I thicken this up a bit might even be able to hold more than oh actually here I'll just show you what's happening this is the one the first one that I threw the punch with and as you can see the knuckle just disintegrated on to be expected with how hollowed out it is this is the one I threw the other punches with. And as you can see, busted up pretty bad on the middle knuckle, which is where I was hitting. But it also busted in the middle of the line that actually follows through with the rest of these grips, which I was expecting, but at a lot more than this. Otherwise, this discoloration is a stress fracture from I couldn't tell you which punch and yeah it held up as you can see this is a lot more let me find that is a similar this is actually the pinky section from the other one as you can see it's pretty hollow this one is solid so there you go guys this isn't that thick I do not have a ruler around here for some reason. Otherwise, I could kind of show you. I'll, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this on Thingiverse. This will be, I'll be interested to see other people improve it or print it in different materials and see if it holds up better. But, I mean, it it held up, guys. Here, I'll actually, you know, what, same shot. Let's get this. It's on a tripod right now. That's why it's... Okay. 
Now, this is a brand new desk. All of, here, let me do this quick. Every single one of these marks is from that. That punch, that punch, that punch. And if you don't believe me, nice unmarked part of the wood right there. As you can see, no big marks. See him leaving marks? That is absolutely holding up way better than I would think. Put dents in it. And that's just plastic. That This is fucking wood, guys. It works. Anyway, I guess that kind of finishes off this portion of the video. Guess we could head back to the studio. And I'll see you there. Thanks for joining me, guys and girls. As you can see, they held up fairly good. Metal finger busted out. And... Can't really see it. It, but it, all of them got busted up a little bit, but, you know, anyone else who wants to improve on the design, certainly feel free to. This will be in the description. It'll be a Thingiverse link. Everyone else out there with a the 3D printer, feel free to print it yourself. Make a video of it. I'd like to see it. I think, I think ABS will do the best out of anything, unless you have, like, nylon. Other than that, Thanks for watching the video. If you want, you can follow me on Twitter at LazyManInno, literally L-A-Z-Y-M-A-N-I-N-N-O. I uh, have a Facebook page, Twitter, Facebook, everything's going to be in the description. Come around, like it. Uh, sometimes I post video snippets. Sometimes I post things that don't make it into video. It's kind of cool to see some background. Sometimes I just post pictures of projects I'm working on that I'm not doing a video of. So, really? <coughs> oh. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.